Serang. In the middle of the 19th century, an Augustinian monk named Gregor Mendel took up the question of biological inheritance with a series of experiments. Mendel had a naturally inquisitive mind and a profound love of nature. His scientific interests ranged from research on plants to meteorology and the theories of evolution. Working at a monastery in what is now the Czech Republic, Mendel started by crossbreeding different strains of garden peas, then observing the characteristics of their offspring. Why choose peas? He did it, he said, for the fun of the thing. Mendel noticed that when he crossed a round pea seed with a wrinkled one, the offspring were round, not a mix of the two characteristics as he had expected. Yet when he bred the round pea offspring, that's where the mix appeared, and the second generation had both round and wrinkled seeds. He continued to experiment, trying to understand what kind of biological mechanism would cause certain characteristics to disappear in the first generation, only to reappear in the second. Then one day, Mendel counted the number of peas in the second generation that had the wrinkled characteristic. Exactly one quarter of the peas were wrinkled. What Mendel observed in his experiments were the biological phenomena we now refer to as dominance and segregation. Only Mendel didn't know it yet. Still, his experiments produced a curious set of facts which, as he said, forced themselves upon my notice. You see, no matter how he crossbred the various strains of peas, the hidden characteristics showed up, but only in one quarter of the second generation. For Mendel, here was the breakthrough. For the first time, he could demonstrate that the traits of successive generations were inherited in certain numerical ratios. In other words, there were fixed laws of nature that governed heredity. With this insight, Mendel made the first great discovery in the science of genetics. Each inherited characteristic must be decided by a pair of what he called factors. Each parent, he said, contributes one factor for each characteristic. Certain factors are dominant and others recessive, depending on the combination of the factors the offspring inherits. Mendel's factors are called genes. The term Mendelian trait is used to describe a characteristic caused by a single gene that sometimes reappears in one quarter of the offspring. That characteristic can be innocuous, such as freckles or the ability to curl your tongue. But it also can lead to serious illnesses like cystic fibrosis or Tay-Sachs disease. Imagine all that from one man's work with the humble pea and was experiments with another humble species that produced our next great discovery. Let's take a look at some of the traits that Mendel studied. And one of the first things that he did is establish what he called true breeding plants, where he year after year crossed a round with a round. In fact, a lot of times peas, in fact, usually peas will cross with themselves. Uh, plants can do that, and peas typically do that all the time. And he noticed every time a round would cross with itself or with another round, he would always get round. So he called those true breeders because every single pea was round. And then he did the same thing with wrinkled. Every single pea was wrinkled. Then he wondered what would happen if he crossed a true breeding round with a true breeding wrinkled. And what he got, to his surprise, were all round. Round, 100%. And this puzzled him because he wondered what happened to the fact of the wrinkled plant. What happened to that wrinkledness? Whatever was causing it, what happened to it? So he called this plant a hybrid. All right, so what he established also was since they were all round, round is dominant. Now let's take a look at how we can put that into a Punnett square. If round is dominant, we'll give that capital R, capital R, and if wrinkled is recessive, we'll give that small r, small r. So we're crossing a true breeding round with a true breeding wrinkled. Uh, this is this is the cross that Mendel just did. So we'll put round the round plant here and the wrinkled plant here, and we can see 
that all the the offspring are heterozygous or what Mendel called also hybrids. So he got 100% hybrid and they're all round. Now what he did next was let one of these cross with itself. Again, plants can do that. So we crossed a hybrid round with itself. So it's round times round. And here's the genotype. So what we would do was put big R, little r, big R, little r. And this is what really surprised him. And as he started keeping track of all this, these, this was Mendel's major discovery, is that he would get three out of four round and one fourth wrinkled. So the wrinkled factor did not disappear. It was just covered up by the round. So this was a big breakthrough for Mendel. Mendel used a painstaking method for fertilizing his plants, transferring pollen from the male part of one plant to the female part of another. Oh, you're castrating it. Absolutely. So then we go to the other flower, yeah. which, is over which, here. which is a red one. Pull that off. Pull it off. Yep. God, it's yep. not very kind, is it, this, oh. this sex business? No, it's rough and ready. Here we go. Right. And this is how Mendel did it, is it? Yes, same techniques, really. Right. So this time we use the style of this one, which has already got pollen on, yeah. and we use it as a paintbrush. Apply it. That's it. Sex in peas. And there we and are. That's it. That's it. Mendel's research was incredibly thorough. Over 10 years, he studied more than 20,000 plants and kept detailed records. He bred generation after generation of peas, and he looked at how the various characteristics cropped up. Eventually, he noticed a consistent and remarkable pattern. What Mendel discovered was really weird. He took an absolutely true breeding red flowered pea. He'd bred it for generations and it was always red. And he took also a true breeding white flowered pea. And then he deliberately crossed these. And what he got was only red peas. It looked as if the, the white had been lost. But he didn't give up there. He let these ones self-fertilize. And in the next generation, well, it began to look as if the white had been lost. But then, up popped the white again. And he bred thousands of them, and he got consistently a three-to-one ratio of red to white. Mendel had discovered a fundamental law of inheritance. When plants breed, each parent passes on a, a factor, a set of instructions for creating every one of the offspring's physical characteristics. Only one of these factors is activated, but the other factor lies dormant and can reappear in later generations.